Did you plug in your headphones? I can't recommend enough. Plug in your headphones and have some kind of surround sound. Yeah, and probably get a VR headset. Probably. We're, I haven't me done and you it aren't there yet. I know. I need... Matt, I almost bought a PlayStation VR because of this game. If I had money, I would have a VR by now. <laughs> yeah, if I... You know what? If I had... I right, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, if I had money, I would... Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, Mark's going to let us try it, though. And fuck Ben. Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah good call. Just... Yeah. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. Cause I'm like, I don't want to get upset and salty at this episode. Man, the Free Cheese Civil War is... It is upon us. There... But there's all kinds of sides. Like, you can take the soup side of me and Ben, but then you can take the Tetra side of me and Joe. Like, it's. And then. I know. The 13, Final Fantasy 13, you can take the side of me and whoever the fuck uh, well, thinks that 13 is a bad game. And- I, but everyone knows that Lightning's the best, so there's no. That too, but hey, you know what else is the best? Tetris Effect. Tetris Effect. Tetris Effect is so. So, so good. I. So. I'm going to say before we do anything, don't watch this video. (laughs) (laughs) No, I completely agree. Looking for the experience of this game. Because chances are, as you watch this video, you're going to go, oh, they're just playing Tetris. With some weird sparkly backgrounds. And you're right. Because when I started seeing gameplay video of this stuff back at E3 and whatever, it's like, that's just Tetris with pretty backgrounds. But, and I'm also going to preface this video. I think that everything that you and I are about to say is going to be completely hyperbolic or seem so. But God damn it. All right, let's just play. Yeah, play in Lost Journey mode because... We're doing Journey mode? Yeah, I would say do, right. just do a couple stages of it. I don't, maybe just the first one. Do like the first block. Or maybe yeah. the second to the last block. It's up to you. Play. Do normal. Do normal, do whatever. I was playing on expert when I first started, and you could see where I stopped <laughs> that. Yeah, I mean, because it was it got a little tough. Yeah, I think I I got through the the two the first two strings on expert, and then I just kind of stopped. Like, what, what do you want to do? You want to do normal? If I just do a beginner, just chill beginner? out, just relax. I mean, know? chill out is normal for me. Where do you want to start? You want to start all the way at the tippy? Just, just start at the tippy top. Go some tippies. So, I was actually telling you this the other day. I mean, I, I completed journey mode on normal in sections. Like, you know, I kind of exited the main menu and then Shit. did did whatever and then came back to the actual stage to continue. But, like, the other night, it was 1 in the morning. And you don't know what I did? Hmm. I turned on Tetris Effect. Yes, as you should. And I just play the journey on beginner. I love that a lot. I, I, and it was one of the best experiences that I think I've ever had in a, in a video game. Oh, my God. And, and again, that sounds so hyperbolic. It sounds like you're full of shit. But I know that you're not because I've, too, played Tetris Effect. It's just one of those. It's one of those. I, mean, like I love piece. a game of the challenge. Like, I I hate when a game's like too easy or or something like that. Like, like, like you know, I'm sitting here. I I love Celeste this year. I I Bloodborne is is a fantastic game for the difficulty that it was put at. Um, what what are you doing? This is supposed to be a beginner. Uh, so <laughs> I play Tetris a little weird. All right, let's just. Yeah, let's start killing some lines here, please. You're giving me anxiety. I like this to build a beginner. A, I like to build it big. It's not beginner. I did I did normal because that's my relax mode. Oh, okay. But even still, because I'm just looking at it, you got three things where you're dependent on long, on those long blocks. I know. Don't come so often. Yeah. But yeah, it's 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 a whole combination of. The effects, the 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 music or sound. I gotta start breaking some shit here. Sound effects, the 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 vibration in the controller. Yep. It I. 
I I don't know. I just it this I keep saying the word beautiful, but it is. It's just a beautiful game. It's just an experience. It is. Like it really is. Uh she Oh no 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 no. Alright, saved it. Go! Oh balls. Wow. Didn't think this could happen. Th it they can. <laughs> I, I told you. You want it? <laughs> I'll I'll show you how I play Tetris. <sighs> Man. I don't build it up that high. I did not intend for it to get that high. I think the talking and playing is a it's a hard thing in this. Now, do you like to build for Tetris or do you just like to build for lines? I like I build for a little bit of Tetris, but like when I got an opportunity to clear two lines, I will clear two lines. Yeah, all right. Like that. Got it. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Like some of these levels, especially in beginner, they only took me like two minutes each. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's build it right I go there. for those big clears. I don't know. Like, I get it. It's that risk reward of like this the the big satisfaction, that big payoff. But I like also like try to look ahead, like, alright, so like what blocks do I need to clear out what I got what mess I got going on? Yeah. Alright, well I need one skinny block here, but like the rest of them I can get away with a couple different blocks, you know? Yeah. Because if I become too dependent on that skinny block, then you're fucking yourself. But if it doesn't, if you get a string where it just yeah. doesn't appear. And usually, and, you know, I'm can... not necessarily playing for score either. Like when I play, like I think I get like a B or whatever, and whatever. Yeah, that, I don't even. Just... I don't even have a, a goal in mind. You know, I, I wish I could get better at Tetris because Tetris is, and I think always has been, my favorite game. Purely, like Tetris is the first game I have memories of playing. It's the game I remember playing so often on my NES and on Game Boy. It's the one thing, you know, it's like my gut reaction, if you said, what's your favorite game is going to be Symphony of the Night. But, you know, I visit Symphony of the Night once every 16 to 18 months or so, and I love it. But I like it doesn't matter what form of Tetris it is. Like you oh, hand shit, it to I me. That. That's Please. all right. You just clean this shit up real quick. I just always come back to Tetris. And this. So what what's happening here? Just to kind of give some context, in case you're looking at it and doing exactly what we said you would do, and go, <laughs> they're just playing Tetris, and there's some shit floating on the screen. So this is uh, from the people behind uh, Luminous and Res, and. Luminous. Oh my god, this fucking song. Like, uh, this it's, was it's, it's this so was good. just such a it good just, the first beginning. Level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when you go back to fucking what happens in metamorphosis and tie it back to this, and we're all connected and it's all together. And god. Mmm. I don't even say so, like. Oop, I just hit the mic. Sorry if I spiked the mic, but like, I don't know if you can hear the vibration, but it's just beating along to the music. It, I, like, and, but that happens gradually. As yeah, you like it just fill more ugh. lines in. It, yeah. Put that right there. Anyway, so Enhanced Games, who made Luminous, made Luminous to. It, um, I mean, like it, you could almost feel the Tetris DNA with Luminous when it was first released. And Luminous was the idea that you would, you'd start on one board, um, completing the puzzle and each board was a different song. And with that song provided different visual cues and all that. This is very much Tetris done in the style of Luminous. But, oh my God, it's so good. I, I'm so happy this game came out. I'm so happy you took to it. Like, oh my god! I mean, I really like Tetris. I was I was looking forward to this game. I know, but normally this is like, this is one of those things where I know I'm gonna walk out of it and tell all of you about it, and I'm gonna get oh, Ben's reaction. Just save it. Oh, you had two of the same. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> but Ben's reaction to me playing Tetris and being so stoked is what I expected out of all of you. 
because I'm used to that with most of the dumb shit that I come overly excited about. So it was just nice to have my enthusiasm matched. Yeah. We're good. No, 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 I know. I just... God. I can play Tetris on normal. No, I know that. I know. Especially, well, at least these early stages. Yeah. Uh, I can't speak for <laughs> later in like the uh, in what they call journey mode, which is which feels like their like their campaign. Yeah. Whatever, like the what you're gonna get of a campaign in Tetris, this is it. I mean, this but is it's really good. If you play really well put together, if you played Luminous, like the uh, you have your uh, your Max, by the way. Your what? Max. What is that? I never, you know what? I don't oh know my god, is. really? Yeah, I've not right, been so, using that. So get yourself ready for a couple of clears, but don't pull them. The more you can set up to be potentially ready to go, the better. Okay. So like right pull here. It, pull your max. So R R2, is, R2. R2. Now clear line. Now swap your swap. Clear that one. Now just clear as many as you can. Oh, as quickly as you can. Oh, shit. I have not been doing this the entire time. It's okay. I didn't do it until later on, too. Perfect. Keep going. You got a little bit more juice. Cool. So you got 10 lines. Wow. I have think. Literally have not been doing that the entire time. Thanks, Joe, for telling me something new. Yeah, so that is something new to this game. It's a new, like, little thing for Tetris Effect. Um, but you notice that on the left-hand side, Matt is building up zone as he clears lines. Um, then you, once you build that meter up, you can do what he did there, and you kind of get this slowdown mode that lets you move in hyperspeed. Not unlike the Flash. Oh, shit. That's okay. Oh, God, um, and you're able to clear a bunch of lines, and it pushes your clears to the bottom. So it doesn't make it difficult because it just keeps pushing things to the top. But as you do it, you're then getting like a, a, a super score. So you get a higher score, and you're clearing things at a much more rapid rate. I'm so excited to try this in VR. Yeah. So like you can do oh uh, move around the, like the right stick and get different angles of your board, which I guess would be the equivalent of you like looking around the area. And, yeah, and using your and head. VR. And you can zoom in or out too with the left analog stick. I just feel like you then miss so much of what's actually. You do, but like I will. I just. It's it's so weird to like to think you're in VR just like right on top of your fucking board. I just really studying it. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can zoom out like as far as you want. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I I just I could stare at it for so the first time the the on launch day when this game dropped, I bought it. I was out like, you know, grabbing fucking garbage to eat and getting food for the dogs so i bought it knowing it'd be ready to roll when i got home from the store came in by the time i got home from running around doing errands whatever it was um the sun had set or was setting so it was like i still had the blinds open but it was dark enough in the house and i grabbed my headphones plugged it in and I found like that perfect sweet spot on the couch just to slump in. Or maybe I even didn't, but the more I played it, the better I slumped. And just like, I just melted for like two hours. Had no idea where I was or what was happening. It was just me and Tetris. I didn't quite play for that long that first time, but... Um... Left. Yeah, yeah, thank you. When I, you know, when I first got the game and I... I started playing with it i was just, i played like through three stages not like not these stages like three strings of stages in yeah. the journey mode and i think i'd do something 
it wasn't even the fact that like Red Dead pulled me away from the game. I think I like literally had to go somewhere or yeah. die something. I had to eat one of them. Yeah. And I was just like, I, I need to come back. I can't wait to come back and I need to come back and Red Dead can wait for a moment. <laughs> as much fun as I've having with that game. And yeah, ugh. Ugh. And I just Beautiful. It's just the game I keep Yeah, getting I game. think another like, cool thing too is I I wanted to get all the way through Journey, but I was a little afraid to get through it so quickly because I was worried that some of these stages would not hold up a second playthrough or that part of what was making it so special was the, like, you're going through it for the first time and you're just experiencing it. You know what I mean? Like, that just... Yeah. Raw, the same thing you have with, like, a any, like, powerful experience. You know, you play through The Last of Us for the first time. The playing through it a second. Yeah, right? Yeah, you can't like, repeat it. But going through this again, now I'm just kind of taken back to the feelings I had first playing it. It's not... I don't know. It works. Like I said, I, I, it just it got so late, and that night, like, I was so close to completing the journey again on beginner. And even though, like, I think I'm better than a beginner player on Tetris, it was just one of those things of like, God, just the. I had my headphones in. It yeah. was I was just experiencing the ride. Uh, just the. The, the, the music and the sound effects and just experiencing all and but knowing this time like what that's supposed to do i yeah it's and they, and you're right like it's so hard to describe just like watching it like this with us talking over top of it with just a little bit of volume to it but man like this game has to be has to be played because even the other night i was playing it a little bit and i was on the phone just like having a normal ass conversation but like playing this in the background and it was just like it removed a little bit of that like connection to it like if you can really fall into it so yeah like i you know i've been saying on a couple different a couple different things we've been doing like how sick i was for like a week yeah yeah uh like the first two thirds of this game i played with headphones no problem i was like totally into it and then just you know i i hated life for about two days and like towards the end of those two days i, I just wanted to play something just because i was tired of looking at darkness in my room yeah and i started playing it but i didn't want to put headphones on because it, it, i f figured it would hurt my head because i had a headache for you know whatever reason and um it, i didn't have the same experience but i actually went back and replayed those levels again with headphones on and so much better it, yeah exactly yeah. I, it's just it's so like VR, like I, I can. It's not crazy to think that, like, to get it, to experience in the VR is is the way to experience it. And you know, I've never been like big on the VR train. Like Resident Evil Seven, I, I that was totally, the one that almost got me. I totally get it. I'm not the one that's gonna get a VR for Resident yeah. Evil Seven. I, yeah. I, sorry, I'm not gonna look at spiders and gruesome shit in VR. I yeah. have a hard enough time as it is with a controller in my hand looking at a TV screen. Yeah. Um, so as much as I appreciate what that game can do for VR is that's not the game, but this one, man, if I had some, a little bit, just a little bit more expendable income, I'm hoping, for myself. I'm really hoping that I'm going to go to the next area. Uh, so it does should, carry we do, should we do the my, next area or should we, you, oh yeah, let's go to a uh, effect mode or whatever. All right. That hub. I'm hoping that Mark leaves his VR headset with me this weekend, just so I can. Because if I have a day where I can just headphones, VR, sit down here, turn off the fucking world. Oh, my God. I so that's know. journey mode. As you can see, you see how like each stage is linked by like a little like thing. Yeah. That That's like, so you, you have like little areas. These, you, you have these little yeah. brief respites between. So I just finished the karma, meal, karma wheel and it gave me a grade, but like. I could have hit next area and it could have taken my board and score the way it was to the next thing that which would have been jellyfish jellyfish course and just taking me through. And what I was saying that night that I went through beginner, I literally almost went through the entire journey except for the second to last like group of stages and metamorphosis, which is the last area in this game, which I can't stress enough. Like it is so worth it. Even if you don't like Tetris Effect to the point where you get the Metamorphosis, it is still so worth playing Metamorphosis just on its own. I it it I think just, there's I think there's something after it. 
I think if you complete Journey, there might be something. I don't know for sure, but I feel like. Anyway, I I don't. I've completed Journey on normal. From start to finish, in one sitting. Oh no, I never finished. It yeah, in I one think sitting. if because I, I I got through everything. Oh shit! But yeah, damn it, that makes me wish I would have just spent the extra thirty minutes I to know. get through it all. That's what I'm saying. I spent forty five minutes doing it. Maybe tonight. Maybe tonight. And but see, now I want to stop recording this video and go buy a fucking VR. That's I just want to I just want to die. I just want to die. That's it. And also, like you were saying, I think there's some stuff associated. I don't know if you saw in the top right hand corner, but there's like a level to your profile. Yeah. Which it's like a weird Call of Duty thing. <laughs> yeah. But, like I feel like you end you up saying, unlocking things. Yeah. You get. Like, I got uh, to level 15 that night that I was doing all that stuff. And I got, uh, I think I got some kind of background. I think I got a background, yeah. Yeah. Um, so this, we've got uh, play, edit, and orbit. So orbit, just to show it. So you just fly around. <laughs> you see what's up. You see who's playing Tetris. Sup, y'all? Who's playing? Everybody's playing. Of course everyone's playing. This game's fucking amazing. Flight what up, here. Alaska? Is that Japan? That's Japan. Just one person playing right now. That, well, everyone's playing or, Puyo Puyo Tetris and beating my ass. I don't know where the hell we are. Is that Japan? No, it's Hawaii. Oh, it's Hawaii? Oh, fuck. I was wondering maybe, why that's not, looked... maybe that's not Alaska, though. I said, what up, Alaska? There's Japan. Look at that bright spot. Get it, y'all. What up, China? Oh, wait. We found Siberia. <laughs> oh, my God. But it's tomorrow there. How is it tomorrow and no one's playing? They're working. It's not Thanksgiving in, uh, in Europe. That's true. Plus, it's Africa. There we go. Is that a node know, Africa's... in the middle of the sea? Nice, dude. I don't know Africa's internet infrastructure, but I feel like there's not a lot of people in the Sahara Desert. Yeah. I, but also, I think this is like you choose where your spot is. Mm. Like, I had to mark on the map where I was. Or maybe that was a different game, and I don't remember life anymore. But no, you but... had to mark where you're yeah. at here in this game. Anyway. Anyway, welcome to Google Earth. Yeah. Let's play. So, uh, I really haven't jumped into any of this stuff at all. I just, like, did it real quick just to see what the deal was. I think I did a relaxed marathon. I think that's towards the bottom one time. The relaxed The chill or, marathon. That's yeah. what I did, yeah. They're, they're all with no whatever. And then this I like. So, you, you play through four windy stages. And they pull in from those themes that are in the... Um, in the main journey mode, but pull them all together. So let's do. Um, you want to do a little challenge? Yeah, sure. This is not necessarily the game for that, but fuck it, right? Sure, Gilded Horizon. Our little Zen person said this is the normal Tetris mode. There's Tetris, yeah. a little anxiety to it. Oh, this is more traditional text Tetris with the colors and the shit. Yeah. Fuck me. I'm dumb. <laughs> Great. Ruin my goddamn. Yeah, Ben just says it's just blocks. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you try to organize these blocks.
Ah, shit. Should have waited. For what? Like, to get a double Tetris. Yeah, this is the most normal Tetris I've seen in this game so far. Which I'm not. But even still, it's atmospheric. Upset by. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Well, I'm sure the vibration's still going off on the controller and all that good stuff. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, I still got a minute. I mean, that's the. And that is the other thing. Like, if you think, like, oh, I don't want a Tetris experience that's atmospheric and whatever. Like. And, like there's still plenty of modes you cannot have the music turned up like there there are ways to still make this your regular tetris game yeah and the other thing that i really liked a lot is if you go into the options you can kind of make it the tetris game you want if you want fucking og without holding pieces great yeah, if you yeah. want to see the next three in line when you're oh well, congratulations yeah. thanks <laughs> if you want to see the next three in line as far as pieces go and to strategize a little bit better like those are all things you can change or customize in in options which is i think really cool so i don't know if you're used to the old tetris Fuck. from the game boy like you can do that <laughs> or yeah. if you want to make it as just like Ew. as like handy not handicapped but like as like user friendly as possible you can do that as well Ugh. All right. Oh, I shit. assume you can beat that. What was it? I don't even know. 97.46. See, I don't... I don't know how Tetris is necessarily scored. Um, Like, I don't couldn't completely understand. I don't know if, like, sometimes combos are better. I don't know if Tetrises are better. So I don't know if, like, a combo of Tetrises is the best thing to try to do. There's some things, and I'm sure that someone who knows better than I is going to know better than I. But um, the faster you get your pieces onto the board, the higher the points you get for each block drop. Um, clears, line clears are going to add points. Um... If you get a full Tetris, that'll add more. The number of lines you get in one clear is going to be higher points than not. Um, the If you get Tetrises back-to-back, -back, that factors into it. Um, then you have weird-ass shit, like T-spins. Yeah, I've seen some of that shit. So you might have a mini T-spin, which is kind of... You almost did one there, where you spun your your T piece around and kind of moved it into a spot. Um, but an actual T spin is when you pass through the physics where your, your T shape would not otherwise have fit. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, and you end up completing a, a, a space or a line because of the T spin or, or getting a, a, the T you don't have to complete a line. I, I, I misspoke there. You just need to get the T into a spot that it otherwise Shit, shouldn't have gone that into. That Sorry, right, save it. Point. a lot of scurrying upstairs a lot of scurrying <laughs> i think it might be post dinner playtime for the pups yes i can i can hear the the fervor
Ah, oh, you just beat me. Close. You may have had more line clears than I did, though. Yeah, like I said, I I don't play Tetris for score. I play Tetris for like staying alive for an amount of yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, yep. Same. I'm always like, how do I how do I make sure I'm on the board as long as possible? Plus, in this game, if you stay alive longer, you get to hear the music and stay in the environment for longer. That's true. So maybe this is the Tetris for That's me true. after all. Um, let's try a little sprint. What are we working with here? Oh, we're good. All right, let's clear 40 lines, huh? 40 lines, baby. Now, when I know that like when people get really good at Tetris, they start saving their T's. I always save my line shapes. Oh, I've been, yep, I save my lines. But when you're really good, you save your T's because your T's are what get you out of jams. Yeah, I can see that. We're good. Fuck. Oh, well, I don't think I would have done that, but that's all right. Man, you really do rely on that long piece. I do. I it's. I mean, it's just. I think it goes back to like when I was a kid and I played this. Like, ugh, fuck. Uh, I started, so I, I mean, I played a lot on Game Boy, like, you know, OG Game Boy back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, but I surprisingly, I don't think I became really good, or really, you know, not really good, but like yeah. better, a lot better at Tetris. Until uh, we started having high score wars in college. Nice. So um, my sophomore year, it was me and my roommate. And then we shared a bathroom with another set of roommates. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we knew them. And what we ended up doing, we ended up getting like a small little whiteboard. And we hung it up in the bathroom. Oh, I love that. And then it became the Tetris high score whiteboard. I fucking love that. So we was... Do our business on the toilet, but play Tetris on our phones. Perfect. You know, not the definitive version of Tetris, but we will but, play Tetris, yeah. and uh, whoever posted high scores would write it on the whiteboard and leave it for the next person Fucking to try to get it. I love that. And, of course, the longer we play, some some more ridiculous high scores came about. Right. And you really had to get good to beat those high scores. So, Yeah. It was uh, at that point, that's when I really had to start uh, getting a lot better at Tetris. <coughs> Shit. Shit. I should have kept the fuck. See, the problem is, too, like, modes like this, I get so fucked up in my own, you know, how I play Tetris that I forget it's all just about clear, clear lines, lines as fast as possible. Did I get it? Oh, cool. Oof. Oof. The classics. The classics. This is the first time I've played any of these modes, as you can tell, but... Um, yeah. I don't know. At the same time, it's level up your profile. That's, that's it? You doing that one? Yeah. Yeah. Was, what did I get? See. Three minutes? friendly competition. It was yeah. like three or six. For some reason, I always think the T spins the wrong way. <laughs> like always. Oh, you like, go, I, yeah, yeah, I do. The, I I think I always start. I think my default is to hit X, and I spin it counterclockwise instead of clockwise.
forget. This game's great. This game's great. It's yeah. I mean, it's. So, one of the producers on the game, Mark McDonald, uh, hosts 8 4 Play podcast. That is correct. All aboard the train. Um, An E3 classic. Yeah. But the most recent episode, at least, uh, you know, as we're recording this, um, was the one right after the launch of the game. Um, and hearing him talk about a lot of the behind the scenes stuff on the game, how they put it together, what they had to do to interview people like that were big Tetris people. He talked about that in the last few episodes, like uh, meeting like some of the best Tetris players in the world to get their feedback and make sure they added, they, like they really wanted to make a feature complete Tetris game first, but also add, you know, the enhanced game spin to it. But also hearing from other members of the podcast um, that are, way better at Tetris than I'll ever be about things that they noticed and whatever, like playing through these modes and um, like how they got through and the pacing and the level of difficulty and, and those sorts of things. And Hot damn. Um, I, it reminded me like, that strive to do better at Tetris and like yeah. really. <sighs> yeah. I, I really like what the journey mode did. So it's not like, it's not just like going from level one to level 10. Like, yes. Yeah. Like it actually goes with the beat of the music in a way. Like at points it will actually dip in difficulty when like the music kind of slows up and it's a nice way for you to kind of get your oh my God. back together. If you're falling apart, what are you playing? A uh, marathon, or um, what was it called? I forget. It's it said not for the faint of heart. That one. The really cool thing is my contact started fucking up right before I started oh, this. That's what it, I thought. It's like some Tetris happened. I was like, uh, this looks like a normal kind of board. <laughs> yeah, I have like an eyelash or something going on with my contact. Those too. are like the the things falling, dude. What? Yeah, the thing's not even falling. You just, <laughs> just go your own up. pace. You just go your own pace. <laughs> I don't know what you're rushing around for, dude. No, the, no, no. The if, piece is even falling. No, no, no. If you don't keep the, the piece spinning, then it will. Lock oh, in it place. does fall. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Fuck. Damn. All right, yeah. get it. Oop. Now, now I get it. Because I've before I was looking at you like a moron. Like, why are you just dropping a piece? The piece isn't falling, dude. Oh no, it's it's falling. <laughs> it's falling at mock speed. That's all. It's like one of the times where you're like, oh right, I should look and see like what the other piece is coming yeah. up next. Uh, right in the middle. Fuck. No. Fuck. Let's get a T-spin going. Yeah? No. All right. Got it. Not in this mode. Nope. Fuck. It's like once you like half commit, you're just done. Uh, there was only one clear. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. This looks like a cluster flag. Oh no! Oh. Uh, uh. Nope. No, get over the hump, you <laughs> fuck.
That was so. All I, like, I keep felt hearing that in, come out of my, in back. my head, like watching, because I know you're strong. Like I, I understand how hard this is. All I keep mm. hearing is Ben saying, "It's just black, dude." Oh god. Actually, you. you I would have been done by this point. You've done quite well, Fuck. kind of recovering here as best you can. No. Uh, 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 bitch. No, 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 no. Fuck. Uh, Oh, they really clear the line there. Ah, uh, that's close. Do you want to try it? No. All this right. looks fucking tough. Ugh. C's not bad, though. It's not a D. It's not It's not a D. What are the hot jams we got here in the Tetris Fuck menu? Hot stuff, man. So good. Yeah. I mean, that was me getting stupid with it, right? Like, it's really, the, the best part of this game was just cruising. Yeah, that's why the first thing I did in here was chill marathon. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, taking in the effects, man. Stuff like this is, I've, you know, I've played that stuff. Infected. Dark blocks. I've seen, okay. I mean, I've seen some of the stuff with, like, Puyo Puyo and some of the different multiplayer modes they had. Multiplayer modes they had in that game. Yeah. But I like that there's, like, right? Hey, you want classic-ass Tetris? Fuck, here it is. Also, you want to come home and just relax? Like, you just want to come home, you're done your day, you want to eat half of a sandwich, and then just hang out. Yeah, and, and I mean, like, you know, some people might gripe that, like, there's no direct online head-to-head. -head, like, something like a Puyo Puyo Tetris might offer you. But, like, if you're friends with someone and you want to see what their rankings are like you can fucking see how you can hit filter oh ah did i do my score oh friends got it yeah so like i didn't do that one but like go there you go yeah of course collins played this game <laughs> but like what which which one were you in i don't even know there you go. There I am. Total score expert. Because I only play like two of the uh, stages. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Normal, you'll get me. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Now, this one. Is this the one? No. Shit. Hold on. Weekly ritual. Where's ritual? I wonder if that's just a clever way of them saying, like, weekly high score. Yeah, because there's something you do where you contribute all to this one big thing. Oh, wait. Hmm? Hmm? I don't know. Area X. No, oh, I didn't even see some of those. Hmm. Anyway. It's out now. It's $40. It is incredible beautiful i'll keep using that word yeah it is honestly this is exactly what tetris needed because every couple of years someone gets a hold of this license and they put it out and it they make a they tetris make a game. good tetris game this is just so much more like it just transcends what tetris is while still being tetris at the it's same like time. finally someone was like what else can we do besides just make a tetris game with modes and right online right rooms someone was like well what what was past the board the actual board itself because what and do you do normally you just put bullshit over there that doesn't matter yeah you put some kind of 
dumb multiplayer mode where it's like clear the lines as fast as you can with the set board. And, and we put a generic ass like bluish tiled background on the side. I think the one cool exception to that is like Tetris DS that Mark always brings up where you're you're clearing lines to make Mario move through World 1-1 one, one, or make Samus run through Norfair. That was a really clever like way to adapt Tetris and, and do something neat with it. But this just... Yeah. Yeah. I, I never want to play Tetris and Puyo Puyo again, I can tell you that right yeah, now. Yeah, no, same. Well, I'm going to go... Uh, Get a VR headset and... Yeah, I think we should go do that now. Let's just go make that happen. That's Tetris Effect. By now. By, seriously, by now. Yeah. Just, uh, and a VR headset. Yep. I, what, 340 bucks? Yeah, uh, perfect. Full package? Does I think, that include a nine nowadays? I think, you know, you get out there Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmassy shopping stuff, and you probably get one for 200 Whole package, 300 no Look at more. that. 